time once again for Uncle Matt's Bedtime Story. Hello, everybody. It's Uncle Matt. I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And tonight on Uncle Matt's Bedtime Story, it is a story about school, things that happen at school. It is back to school week here at Uncle Matt's. And um, we're going to read a story about it. I hope it helps you tell someone if this happens to you. It's an encouraging story, I hope, for you. A Tattle Tell Tale. A Story About Getting Help by Catherine Cole, illustrated by Quinn Lang. This story was copyright on 2016, the year 2016. Are you ready? Here we go. Joseph was hungry. His mum had packed an egg salad sandwich, his favorite, and a brownie for dessert. He was about to take a bite of the sandwich when a big kid from grade seven walked past his table. It's Martin, whispered Devin. Quick, hide your dessert. He always grabs something. Let's see what you little kids have for me today. Martin said, looking over the food. Joseph tried to cover his brownie with his arm, but it was too late. Big mistake, kid. I saw that. Give me the brownie. Joseph was afraid to say no. He handed over the brownie. His friends at the table said nothing, but Joseph was upset that he hadn't stood up for himself. That was on Monday. On Tuesday at lunchtime, Martin came back. He went straight to Joseph. What's for dessert today, kid, he asked. Joseph reluctantly showed him the three chocolate chip cookies he was saving. Not bad, Martin said. Oh, and looky here, a salami and cheese sandwich. Give it to me. Uh-huh. You can keep the carrots. Martin walked away with most of Joseph's lunch. Devin gave Joseph some celery to go with the carrots. And that's how Tuesday went. The next day, Joseph decided to eat in the boys' washroom. Instead of the lunchroom, he didn't want to lose another lunch. Before he could start, the door flew open. I thought I saw you come in here. Did you think you could hide from me? Martin grabbed Joseph's lunch bag and held it up high. Give it back, Joseph demanded. Or I'll, or I'll... The bully laughed, or you'll do what? Joseph was afraid, but he was also angry. He put his head down and ran straight at Martin. Before he knew it, Joseph was on the bathroom floor and Martin was leaving with his lunch. You'll be sorry if you tattle, he said. On Wednesday, Joseph went home hungry with a headache. On Thursday, Joseph asked Kamel to go with him to the washroom. He did, but when Martin showed up, Kamel ran. Joseph ran, too, and ate his lunch at the far end of the schoolyard. Why are you eating out here, Joseph? asked the yard duty teacher. Joseph gathered up his courage. Maybe he wouldn't be sorry if he told. Telling might be better than eating by himself. He just wouldn't name Martin. I don't like to be bothered while I have my lunch, he told her, and someone. And just then a girl fell and hurt her knee. The teacher hurried away to help. Sorry, Joseph, she called over her shoulder. Enjoy your alone time. Joseph didn't enjoy his alone time. He felt very alone. By afternoon recess, Joseph couldn't think about anything else. He had a big problem. He needed help, but how could he get it? Telling the yard duty teacher hadn't worked. 
Who could he go to? His mom, his teacher, his classmates? His mom was at work. He needed someone here. His teacher was sick today, and Joseph didn't know the supply teacher. His classmates were too afraid to help, even if they wanted to. Then he had an idea. He would get help from Mr. Tate without tattling. Mr. Tate always said that kids could come to him any time. Joseph tapped on the principal's door. Mr. Tate. Mr. Tate opened his door and invited Joseph in. Joseph took a deep breath. Do you have an extra key to the supply room, Mr. Tate? I was wondering if I could use it at lunchtime for a week or so, please. Mr. Tate was very kind, but the answer was no. Joseph, he said, it might be better to tell me why you want to do that. You must have a good reason. It was hard to begin, but telling the story got easier as Joseph went along. Mr. Tate listened carefully. Do you know this boy's name, he asked. It's Martin, but he told me I'd be sorry if I tattled. Mr. Tate sat forward. Joseph, there's a big difference between tattling and telling. When we tattle, we're trying to get someone into trouble. But when we tell, so we can get help. But we tell so we can get help. The important thing to remember is that someone needs help. This time, that someone is you. Do you understand? I think so, Joseph answered. But I still can't eat in the lunchroom or use the boys' bathroom. Mr. Tate smiled. Yes, you can. School should be a safe place for everyone, and it's my job to see that it is. But Joseph began, Don't worry, you're right to tell me the whole story. Why don't I take a little tour of the lunchroom tomorrow? Martin doesn't need to know while I'm there. Why I'm there, Mr. Tate said as he showed Joseph out. Thursday had been a long day. Even so, Joseph felt much better. He had shared his problem and he had trusted Mr. Tate to help. On Friday at noon, Joseph went to eat in the lunchroom as Mr. Tate said he should. Sure enough, Martin was there waiting to pick on him. Hey kid, you got away from me yesterday, Martin came toward Joseph. You better have something extra good for me today. Joseph shuffled backwards. Oh, no, you don't. You can run, but you can't hide. At the very same time, the lunchroom door opened and in stepped Mr. Tate. Why would Joseph want to run and hide, Martin? Can you explain? The bully gasped. Standing next to Mr. Tate, Martin didn't look so big and scary. Mr. Tate turned to Joseph. Sit down and enjoy your lunch, Joseph. Martin and I are going to eat in my office and find a way to make things better for everyone. You have a good day now. Good job, Mr. Tate. And on Friday, Joseph had a very good day. Yeah, that's... That's a hard one. I know we all probably have had bullies to deal with and to talk to and interact with while we're at school. And it's so hard to go get some help. So good for you, Joseph, for go getting help. And I encourage you too, if you are being bullied, it's important to get help. You do not deserve to be bullied, okay? Go get some help. There's a difference between tattling and telling, especially if it affects you. That's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.